Show! <laughs> Again, for the same reasons that I had said the other day for at one of our other meetings, I know that I did want to crush your four point two in the professional services report, whatever it was. Um, and I know that there are changes during the year that come up to different staffing and different people coming and going and they can save money. But I also think that some of the professional services that they have three point two and move to that way. Well I I I've watched this budget process for the fifth year now and every year we're showing numbers that are contractual obligations and we're told the sky is falling, we're going off a cliff, we're going to cut this, cut that, and programs are going to suffer, and teachers are going to be laid off. Not once in the five years I've been doing this, not once has this happened. So we have progressively moved up from the DRG group in first student spending, and all of the test scores have continually increased through all of this process. And this number, the 2.75, is a middle number right about where we've been at all along. So, a little on the high side in terms of the past history of since we've had the Board of Finance, this budget is actually a little bit on the higher side. So, I think right now, and adding to the fact that we have a referendum coming up and the voters can decide, I'm comfortable with the 2.75. I mean, what it was a little bit disappointing here. I would go out that they were going back. They had they had a need, but whatever. We just got a little bit about the impact of it is not even meeting as a you know, we collectively and coming up with what they would do that then show potential the referendum. It's like really about to have a record for where they are. It's like you know, I got all your numbers. I I I believe in some of the statistics also. It's like it's all we have type of deal. They've moved up on your third every year. They've moved up on like the group of seven that year every year. I mean, you know, we, we talk about also that at least when we look at the, the town side, right? We manage risk and opportunities on a monthly basis. We have a understanding where we think the budget is headed. So every month, you know, Kevin provides us with we're going to have a higher interest rate, so we're going to possibly gain half a million dollars there. We're going to spend less there. So we have a way of evaluating and assessing the town budget. We have no way of assessing uh, the, the Board of Education budget, which, hey, that's the way it works, okay? But we do have a way of assessing it based on historical performance after the year is closed up. And every year, I mean, you saw the numbers. You know, they request five to six percent every year. You give them three to, you know, whatever, two to three, three and a half percent. And they don't have any, they don't cut programs, they don't cut positions, and they do well, which means that those budget requests are overstated. So when somebody says, I'm coming from budget to budget, it's not a good representation. When somebody says, I need 4.2 percent to meet contractual requirements, because you're coming off a budget that's inflated, that's not good representation. But that's why I'm saying 3.2 rather than 4.2. Well, I understand that. And I, I think they're being penalized for making do with what they've got. They have no choice. I have not yet. I have to look like they 
Yeah. They've always had the option of coming back to the board of finance if they need more money. Than okay, but, uh, and they've always that had a purpose. Tim, you can testify on the If they had the audacity of doing that, Mid mid budget. Why would that be pressed and was a job company that? How many other town departments do that? You just the same job. It's trying to make things work. Last well, year's budget. Here's the difference. Last one. Let's have less vote. Last year's vote. I know the one that's studying. And they hired Franklin and then the high school math and they teach labs. Who's a buffoon? I don't think they teach my kids class. My kids are just party. We're not just going to work on the system to be successful to make things easy. It's a big problem. Historically, it's not a federal election. From last year to this year, the people spent on inflation curve. We don't really need that. I am willing to come come down by the 4.2 to the middle of the morning. 3.2, not lower than I thought, but fine. I'm willing to come up with that. Okay, just one question. I mean, I did an FOI to start on, um, you know, that tiered cut start kit, which was there last year, the last year cut yeah. And basically, the indication I got from them is that they didn't make any cuts. So they, they weren't even explicit, you know, telling me that they made cuts. So, uh, so I mean, I hear you. I don't believe they made any cuts, like, especially when they added to this one. So, I mean, it's a public record. The he said, he said, he didn't go in, but he said he made cuts. So he doesn't match it wrong, or someone's got some proofs. Either way, step up. You know, it's interesting. I just say this. I don't need to ignore it. 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 Point it out. Notated. Point it out. They didn't do it today. And the chart they handed out, there wasn't any. They did not answer that question to you. No. But during the presentation, that's exactly, forgive me, that thing. that Brian said that they made it Well, I would have noted on the form that we passed out to the public. Why can't Why can't that will tell us? As, as a taxpayer, I should be able to tell I would hope. As a taxpayer, I should know. Well, we're in the same boat. Then what's the problem? We, we made cuts, but we're not it's telling them where. I'm not telling them where. No, 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 no. All right, so. Yeah, um, you know, to, to your point about not knowing risks and, you know, where things stand, uh, we always, uh, in the first four years that I was on the board, or first three, we always had a representative attend board of ed meetings uh, and it was some board of ed meetings and some finance and operation meetings and i'm thinking that you know maybe we should get back to that to have a little bit more information going back and forth maybe some of the questions or problems you have about some of the the stuff could be taken care of i know it's a load to put on another person um but I'm just throwing that out as a suggestion. The other, the other thing is, um, I would like to have some roll call vote. Okay. 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 You'd like a roll call? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Bornaro? No. Mr. Paradis? Uh, no. Uh, yes. I'm sorry. Yes. Mr. Grady? No. Ms. McNair? <laughs> Mr. Millard? Mr. Fernandez? 3-3, three, three, so the motion fails. Doesn't pass. <laughs> It, it doesn't pass, so you can, I mean, you could either have more motions. Okay, then I'll make a motion that we are going to the original of 2.75. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Are you making the motion for number two to move to the exact amount? Yes. You just want to move to send the Board of Ed budget to the council at the... Okay. Um, problem with making it on the high side as well is that it's forever. It's another, we can't say next year, well, it was a little too high. We can just roll it back a little bit. We, we don't have that option. It's, it's lower this year. That's exactly right because it was too high last year. Last year, they don't have any more That's the part that you can worry and how you're teaching, I guarantee you it's going to be in elementary school. What you It's going to open up a really good set of elementary How many additional choice students can you take in this year? That's a lot more because they pay teachers' salary to keep the house. They don't have $4,000. 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 They don't yeah, it is. We didn't get a and get some more. we at least get a plus five. Sorry, guys. I'm going to go over the past minute. Probably. You want to do the vote? Okay. Mr. Barnaro? Mr. Paradis? Mr. Grady? Ms. McNair? Mr. Miller? Mr. Rowe, uh, Mr. Holt, Mr. Fernandez. <laughs> so once again, three yes, two no, one abstention. The 2.75 passes to the council. Um, I move to extend the general government budget of $50,570,442 to the uh, town council. Second. Second. I just want to raise my opportunity that the total amount of the capital has been cut because I don't agree with that method of budgeting. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. you know, I mentioned last time the prospect, and this is awkward, there's nothing done, but it's putting it back in and putting the, the more use of fund balance. It's not the same thing, but the optics are there. Still, that we're spending more money on the budget, but it's not costing us anything from another. So, my suggestion a lot of times. The same thing, unless you think we're losing control of it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I, I think we're losing control of it. So, then we can exactly. do it the way we do it. Yeah, I, okay. I think it subjects us to that's at the, the next level uh, of the expenditure side and not to come down. Okay. All right, Mr. Bornar, yes. Mr. Paradis, yeah. Mr. Grady, yes. Ms. McNair, the town as was originally put forward tonight. Yeah. Uh, so, Mr. Miller, to yes, Mr. Fernandez, that passes five to one. Mr. Bornaro? Mr. Paradis? Yes. Mr. Grady? Yes. Ms. McNair? Mr. Miller? Mr. Fernandez? 6 0, the Berlin Water Control budget goes forward. I move to adjourn. Second. Second. Thank you. Thank you.